wine lovers, we're here on Viscosity TV. I'm Dave, the wine wrestler, and we're on a stage five, racking clear juice and inoculating that with yeast. So last episode, we looked at cold settling, and that was when the juice settles for 48 hours, and all of our, all of our solids goes right down to the bottom, and we're left with clear juice on top. We also looked at routine analysis, so checking our sugar and checking our acid. So today we're going to walk you through, only in a couple of minutes, clear juice, how we remove that, and how we inoculate uh, the clear juice with yeast. So here we have our tank. Now we've got that clear juice up top, and for the last hour we've been pumping that clear juice away, and it's come down to a level at the door here. So we do that by pumping it off our racking valve, which is here, through a pump, and that pumps it away to the next tank. So by our clear juice, here's our Sauvignon Blanc, Marlborough Sauvignon Blanc, just beautiful. That's clear, absolutely fantastic. And that's being pumped into the tank next door and is ready to be inoculated with the yeast. Now below, we've got our juice leaves and that's the part we need to refilter. So as you can see here, there's a huge difference here in the viscosity of it the turbidity, and obviously the taste. Now I'm not gonna drink that one there, but I can happily drink that one. We need to filter this, and we need to inoculate this. So how do we, when we get down to this level here, we use a special thing called a racking plate, and we put that through the door. And that's our racking plate there. So we put that through the door, and as you can see, looking through that door now, we just need, we've got about a thousand, one or two thousand litres to get off that heavy solids, or the lees, and then we're done. We can push this through with water. It's all in the tank there. There's about 30, 20 or 30,000 litres of clear juice, and that's ready for inoculation. So let's go and check that out. Hi guys, now here we are. We've got our clear juice, which we've just pumped over into here. Now that's sitting at 15, 16 degrees, and we're ready to add our yeast and prepare those yeasts. So what we've got, We've got our dried yeast here. We've got our warm water that's sitting in here that we'll need, I'll tell you why in a minute. And then we've got our pump sitting behind us. And that pump's gonna take the yeast once we've prepared it and put it on top of the juice there and that'll be ready to go. So we need this warm water. The warm water's gotta be at 40 degrees. Because at the moment, these yeast, they're dry, dry yeast. We need to rehydrate those yeasts, get them excited, get them living again, and this whole process will take one to two hours. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna add some yeast, put it in the warm water, add a little bit of juice, go and have a cup of tea and something to eat, and come back in a couple of hours, add some more sugar and juice, and then that'll be ready to be added in there, and then that's when the yeast start converting those sugars into alcohol, and the fermentation process begins. So let's get some of these into here and get this happening. Great yeast this one too. So we're just gonna we're just gonna sprinkle these into our warm water. Take a couple of these here. Don't muck about. One, two, go get in there, and four. Give that a bit of a mix here. And that's what it looks like there. So we've gone from clear water into this yeasty mix here. It's at 40 degrees. We're gonna come back in about half an hour, add a bit of juice and get them excited. They just need a bit of time here to get organized, but when we come back, they'll be ready to go in for some juice. See you in about half an hour. Well have a look at this guys, I've just had smoke on 30 minutes later and here we've come back and our yeast have got a little bit excited here. We've got all of those yeast, a little bit of juice in there and look what's happened. It's starting to overflow. Now basically this is just all of this CO2 being produced and the yeast eating up those sugars. Still nice and warm, it's probably about 30 degrees now. But that's looking good to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to pump this into our clean juice and that'll be in fermentation, and that's when that fermentation process will begin. So our tank here did have clean, clear juice that we saw just, just before in our racking. It's now, we've prepared our yeast, and our yeast is now eating all that sugar and converting that into alcohol. And then, that's how we get the wine. So by pumping this into there, that's now inoculated, that tank's in ferment, and the fermentation process begins. 
See you next time on Viscosity TV.